everybody, this is Riku Keyblade Master, and yes, I'm going to be taking a break from my usual motif and discussing another theory from another franchise. So without further ado, let's jump into a synopsis and theory on Bendy and the Ink Machine. Now, for those of you who don't know what Bendy and the Ink Machine is, it's Basically, imagine if Disney took a dark turn. Alright. Now I know what you guys are thinking. Oswald is Mickey's counterpart. But this guy, this guy, Bendy, the main protagonist, is... Basically, actually, the darker version. Now, this is pretty controversial here, but here's the deal. You play as this guy who apparently worked at the old cartoon studio 30 years ago. He receives a letter from his boss named Joey Drew. Joey Drew tells him to come to the studio. For whatever reason, I don't know. You get there, and you're basically doing a scavenger hunt. Now, going back to the letter, let's rewind back. Going back to the letter, you'll notice that the letter at the very bottom actually has Bendy's signature stamp and not Jerry Drew's signature. So, here is where the theory comes in. The rest of my synopsis is pretty straightforward. You go into the studio and find all six of the office relics. When you get to a certain point and you turn on a tape recorder, you get subtle hints from other co-workers that you used to work with. Which leads me to my theory slash questions. Now, First question dates back to the letter. What is with the Bendy stamp instead of Joey Drew's signature? Well, another thing that's a bit of a bugger is this letter was sent 30 years after the old cartoon studio shut down. So, either Joey was seriously ill and didn't send the letter out, and instead of signing his name, he used the Bendy stamp, or Joey is actually dead. Like, his ambition... Okay, Joey Drew's ambition was to bring his cartoons to life. He wanted to bring his cartoons to life. Now, here's where the theory comes in. Did Joey Drew die of natural causes? Or did he possibly get his wish but his wish came with a price. Now, the price being his death. Now let's go back to the office relics and the voice message on the tape recorder. The worker that left the tape recorded message says, Jerry wanted us to donate something and place them on pedestals in the break room. 
and there were six relics you had to collect, right? So that definitely would play into it. However, was the cog to turn on the machine one of those relics? That's one of the first things you find. Now, another thing that could be considered a relic or whatever, if you really want to consider this, but when this mentioned watches we reanimate a corpse, yeah. When you turn on the ink machine, Boris actually comes to life. Well, like, he doesn't come to life, but ink just spurts out. I don't know if he actually does come to life. I haven't exactly played the game. Only the first episode is out, so I don't really know. Um, but... Anyways, was Boris one of those relics, or did the name get changed, and we later find out that that was actually Jerry Drill? Do we find out that that was him, and he got what he wanted, but at his own expense? Is it him, or is the person that you reanimated, or that Bendy, rather, reanimated, Boris? I'm thinking it's Jerry Drew, though, because while there's no record of whether Jerry died of his own like, of natural causes or, like, an illness or anything. I'm believing that Bendy might have done something when he finally came to life. Now, because if you guys remember, back to the letter and the time frame, 30 years had passed, and then when the guy you're playing as gets the letter then that's pretty much it. So, basically, if you ask me, I would say that's not really Boris. I would say that's actually a hidden thing, and that's actually Jerry Drew. Because rumor has it, Jerry Drew's creation his ambition might have destroyed him. So, as soon as the cartoons came to life, they thought that they could get their revenge and destroy their own creator. Basically. But, you know, we've got that, or the natural causes theory. I want to know what you guys think in the comments section below. Do I have a point going over the six relics? Or is it something completely different? Then again, you know, you never really know. So, you know, that could be a possibility. Or, or, going off these two theories, you guys can leave your own theories in the comment section. I'm just going over the theories I know for sure. But you guys know what to do. Comment, rate, 
subscribe to become a Keyblade Wielder as well as a member of the Cooper Gang. And stay wonderful as usual. Goodbye. And thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to unlock your potential by hitting that like button. That would really help me out. And like I said, if you guys have your own theories in the comment section below, don't be scared to list them. I will definitely go over all of them, take all of them into account, and I will definitely be interested to see your guys' opinions. I really would. Not even kidding. And also, let me know if you guys think I should go over more stuff like this. That's all the time I have for right now. So like I said, comment, rate, subscribe to become a Keyblade Builder as well as a member of the Cooper Gang. Unlock your potential by hitting that like button. Thank you for watching and stay awesome as usual.